Last time that I checked, it was five chains on my neck. It was no smut on my rep. Last time that I checked. Hey, what's up guys, it's Will, and we are back for more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So I did a little bit off camera. I know I said I won't do it, but it's nothing significant. What I did was I just went and got all the viewpoints. I synchronized all the viewpoints because uh, when I was like editing the last uh, episode, what I realized was it takes longer to get there because I'm not close to a viewpoint. A viewpoint actually there are a few viewpoints that were near to the objective but i didn't synchronize them so what i did was i just synchronized all viewpoints that's all i did that's all i did for like the last 10 minutes <laughs> but nothing else because i'm want to keep all the events and all the story missions for you guys so with anything uh, anything else we're gonna be liberating lambeth and maybe another district who knows let's get into it uh before we begin I want to take a look at our skills because we got four skill points and see uh, what we can upgrade so unstoppable slayer stealth oh yeah we're gonna need to do that because it's pretty like uh, difficult to like move around ever since like uh, the stealth missions like you know the child liberation and like Templar hunt it requires more stealth than you think, so we, that's going to be needed. What else? Knife Master. Stun for a short time. Uh, let's see. Radius of your Eagle Vision increases. More crafting resource. And defense reduces. That sounds useful. Let's see what's over here. Execute. Or increase health. I'm gonna go with the crafting resources because it actually takes a lot of resources just to like craft something or upgrade something. Speaking of which, let's take a look at that. So right now I have a level uh, 3 weapon but I fully upgraded that's why this one's lower. But I wonder if I'm gonna craft this one. Craft. But I'm not gonna equip it first see if we can upgrade it apparently we can't well there goes my resources <laughs> upgrades what can we upgrade oh nice uh let's craft this i need to carry more knives and we can increase the damage of the knives okay Okay, that's pretty much all we can do. So this will be our first mission, uh, bounty hunt. Crowd event. Kill criminals. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, that was throwing knives. Oh, God, that is brutal. What now? I just want to do that. Okay. 
All bounty hunting missions are the same. Bring back the target alive. Okay, a gunner. Or a sniper, whatever you call them. What? No, of course not. I would not like to displease the sister. Bring the carriage here. Make it quick. The police are on our trail. Right. Okay. It's moving over here. Nah. <laughs> I almost do that knife too. Good thing I upgraded the knife damage. I haven't done anything, I promise. What about those two thugs then? And a little conversation about your sister. I would do it again if she asked. She's one of the most powerful figures in London. She tells me to do something, I do it. In return, she puts food on me table. Oh, you mother... I don't know why you put the gun away. I hear her sister is the real menace. Walk on, stupid nag. Okay, at least that went well. And I still can't believe I have my XP booster. <laughs> so I was completely wrong. I thought it was only two hours. Uh, the boost is two hours long, but I guess it's much longer than that because I'm pretty sure this is like my thir uh, like third or fourth episode. Defense civilian. Alright, Templar hunt. Who are we hunting? It's moments like these that I wish that we had the double assassinate the targets. Hmm. I kind of wish that we had the uh, berserk darts. Earned a skill point, nice. Double assassinate the targets, but I do see a window at where, how it's how it's possible. Oh, 
Oh damn it! I thought he was gonna move closer. Hey, but uh, I'll give it to the Templars, like, uh, some of their clothes look, uh, like their uniforms and outfits look pretty cool. No, 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 put... Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of resources. All right, next. So this should be the last one, and then it'll be like an all-out gang battle. I like doing that. Another chest right here. No. <laughs> Keeps on climbing. What are we doing here? Kill the leader undetected and free and capture the rooks. Free and protect captured rooks. God. To my most favored blighters, I am not daft enough to remain ignorant of the threat these so called rooks pose on our territory. I urge you to clip their wings. Can I hit that uh, box of dynamite? You're free, mate. Don't pick up the body. I just want to free him. There we go. Thing that box that ooh nice. Good thing that box of dynamite was there. <laughs> All right, that should be the ent entire district. Now we should be fighting the leader. Gang war. I wonder what we're gonna bet this time. Last time it was a train. 
Cletus Strength. Oh man. So basically once you kill the leader, everyone dies. Or is it still going on? Oh, that wasn't the gang war? <laughs> Wait, didn't that just happen? <laughs> I thought that was the gang war. <laughs> With Mr. Strain no longer in the realm of the living, I'd say you have a fair chance of winning Lambeth. May the best brutes win. Oh, okay. So if we didn't kill him, then he'll return. But since we killed him, now we just got to finish off those who would still, like, oppose. Got it. Okay, now that makes sense. <laughs> this borough belongs to us. Let's go. Hey, you know, uh, Jacob is badass if he can make his knife stop in midair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are Jacob and Evie Fry. And as of this moment, you all work for us. Looks like the blighters uh, joined us too. Nice. All right, now we conquered another district. Alarm bell in this area. Well, it's my area now. Well, I guess we missed one. Okay, okay, nice. It's a good thing we upgraded that. I meant to reload, but okay. <laughs> Let's do this mission. Charles Dickens. I wonder what he's got in store for us. Spring Hill Jack. Surrounds thee both. Get thee behind me! <laughs> Alas, these days stupidity is all too prevalent. 
You know, I never asked your names when we last met. I'm Evie Fry, and this is my brother Jacob. Tell me, do you believe in ghosts? Not particularly. Yes. I'm skeptical myself. Here we are, in the world's most advanced city, yet its citizens are so enthralled to the supernatural, they leave themselves vulnerable to charlatans. Which is why I joined the Ghost Club. The first society in the world to look systematically at the phenomenon. Because truth, like a spirit, must be cajoled before it will reveal itself. Will you join us? Sounds absolutely ridiculous. Why not? It does sound intriguing. Splendid. I have your first case. There's been some disturbing reports about a series of assaults in Lambeth. People claim they're being attacked. Okay, a potential victim. Now, personally for me, I do believe in ghosts too. Anyone? Okay. There we go. It was horrible. Glowing eyes, huge claws, and his laugh. Luckily, it was fine. Okay. Locate another potential victim. There we go. Defend the potential victim. Damn, he threw like three smoke bombs. I have you now. I hope he was talking to the horse man. Claw marks on the walls. Please don't tell me I just lost this trail. Yeah, so up here. Get this chest. My guess is he's. Yep. Oh, that wasn't hit. Whoops. <laughs> I have you now. I thought that was him. <laughs> oh well, he was still uh, an enemy. 
so I don't feel too bad. So he went over here. So the footsteps stopped there. Where could it? Oh, still wants me to investigate more. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There we go, damn. Out of the way warehouse, lots of guards, mass lunatic inside. This is the bloody life. Okay, so. Why don't I come over there and give you a good thrashing? Don't go anywhere. Over there. I'd like to speak Stop. with you. Ah, oh, crap. Stop your cock, brain. I want a word. The end. Oh, oh. God. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> Hey, uh, guys, I need a little help. <laughs> Gang fight. Oh shit, police! Well, it looks like the criminals are taking care of it. Oh, they're only level 2, no wonder. Oh, this guy's a little different. Well, I guess that's one way of doing it. <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> so there's three cultists. for assassinating. Come on, 
that are in space and animals and we treat them as such. We take our inspiration from Jack. We know how to treat the lower classes. <laughs> Come on, come on. There we go. I think he's stunned by the smoke, that's why. Sorry guys, that was a little rough. Earned a skill point. Three. I'm gonna uh, increase the defense. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Bounty hunt. Hmm. I'm gonna do that bounty hunt and then I'm gonna do um I think it's a mission from Bell. Hmm. I didn't know that. That I knew though. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's get this target. There he is. I think I almost got the assassination like challenge down. Someone just had to fire that gun. Move out of the way, kid. Move out of the way, kid. Be quiet. I said, be quiet. I'm in the middle of work. Is it your job to pollute the river? It's nothing personal, but a man must also make a living. I'm trapped! 
Oh my god. Oh! Oh, so we can deliver them even though we have someone on our tail. Nice! Send one of the medical staff down to assess the damage. Okay, that part of the river is cleared. I have a feeling that uh, the gang war is going to be on a bridge. Earned another skill point. Scare bullies. <laughs> Works every time. Silk and leather. Nice. So, in case you guys uh, didn't notice, I've been playing this game a lot more than Dead Island 2. To be honest, I'm kind of like procrastinating on playing Dead Island 2 because uh, for me, nothing beats Assassin's Creed. And also the fact that um, the amount of jump scares that keeps on coming out of that uh, game, especially with, when you are wearing headphones that doesn't tell you which direction those growls and like which way they're coming from makes it even scarier Cable news. Ah, Jacob, uh, Miss uh, Fry, how good to see you. Oh, have you seen Stalick's latest lies? Lies in a newspaper? What transpired from the new line you're establishing? Oh, the cables we ordered never arrived. And then we intercepted this. A message mentioning cargo seized the college wharf. Then let's unseize it. Oh, uh, wait. Another intercepted wire contained the recipe for a powerful hallucinogenic serum. I've adapted this dart mechanism to work with your bracers. Alec, you're a genius. Well, that patently is untrue. Although, I've also discovered that the serum adopts a form of a gas when subjected to heat. Just when I think you can't surpass yourself. <laughs> so these are the berserk darts. Hallucinogenic darts. Hallucinogenic darts can be fired at enemies causing them to attack them. Okay, so the, these are the berserk darts. Man, I should have done this. I shouldn't have done this a while ago. You're welcome. So I can only carry two. You know what? Yeah. Let's drive there. This is a nice carriage too. Sources near enemies can be fun. Oh, so n now we know what those are for. So if we just fire at one, then oh, then it's only one target. But if they're like near a fire source like this, then we could like make multiples.
and the fire sources are still there so we could use it as many times as we want. Nice! And the crates re or refill our ammo. Nice. That's really good. Oh my god. Wow, they really messed you up. Closer, get closer, get closer. Yeah, good idea. I like how they die after the, they're like done killing uh, the enemy. It does, it's not like we have to like wait it out like in Black Flag. says that there's a crate right here. Man, the game's lying. <laughs> now let them go berserk. Then uh, I'm going to enjoy those. <laughs> so it seems that if we do missions for Bell, he'll give us like new weapons and inventions. any more darts. <laughs> what? That doesn't count as a double? Man, come on Jacob. Well, at least no one heard that. Easiest job I've had all year. They ought to hire better muscle. Who's that messing oh, yeah? Oh, 
We've got the docks, lads! We need to get this load to Steric now! Oh, please don't tell me. Reach the cargo ship. Oh, made it! <laughs> and we got the assassination perk. Poison! What the? Bell must know what kind. Turn to Bell's workshop. Oh, so I'm poisoned? <laughs> Am I cured? <laughs> Is there an empty carriage? Looks like there is. Nice parking. <laughs> Careful there, Mr. Bell. Every worthwhile endeavor is fraught with dangers, my dear friends. None more so than yours. But you have triumphed once again. How do you know? We have entered the age of communication, remember? We've already received word from Greenwich that the shipment has arrived safely, thanks to you. Have you discovered what else is in that shipment? Indeed. Um, I'm afraid that Starek's poison has found its way onto the open market. If he believes that will stop us, he is mistaken. So I guess we weren't poisoned. Okay. Man, that's a lot of XP. New upgrade. Nice. And another skill point. Let's take a look. Three skill points. I wonder if this could level me up if I like upgrade. What should we upgrade? What should we upgrade? Eagle vision. <laughs> Let's upgrade the combat a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my health because now the enemies are a lot tougher. Okay, level 5. Nice. And this one. The Slayer one, Slayer combo or whatever. And let's take a look at the gang upgrades. Because now we have a lot of resources and money. Receive a basic combat training. So now they're level 5. Yes, please. What else? Rook riders. Purchase carriages for your rooks. Yeah, because I mean, like, the blighters are, like, still on carriages, so if we have lo more of them on the, uh, on the streets, then it'll make things easier. The name of Fry inspires fear in the hearts of your enemies. The blighters won't initiate conflict with you in the street. 
Thank you. <laughs> Fear. If you present discount on clues. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, buy pubs in the city to increase the train hideout income by. Okay. Buy one. <laughs> Little rooks. Children are the best thieves in London. When you using R1 to interact with them, they'll give you better loot items. Uh, let's see. Brutes, but that's gonna pretty much cost everything. Popularity. When you order your rooks to fight, they will open conflict with the volley fire. Hell yes. So basically, it's what's up, pow pow. <laughs> Okay. Crafting. Upgrades. Okay, we can upgrade. Nice. This is gen dart. So, we, level 7 is the highest we can affect. Yeah, I need to carry more bullets. No, we can't carry anything else. Okay. Alright, what should we do next? What's this? Overdose. Oh, I didn't get that viewpoint, man. Hmm. Sequence 4, overdose. We'll do this, and then we'll start liberating the the Thames or Thames? I'll be filming another episode later today, so... Uh, I know for a fact that it can't happen in this episode, but in the next episode we'll be liberating another district. Smoke bombs create a thick cloud. It, yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> Leap of faith. Overdose. Jacob infiltrates the mirrors Lambeth Asylum. Oh yeah, this one. Mr. Fry, I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh yes, we had a most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. <laughs> Reach the vantage point. Oh, we enter. Okay. I thought it meant like the viewpoint or something. Ooh, what do we have here? T Tanjor prison? Uh, not prison. Poison. Set 
I'm guessing I can't kill them because they're blue. I'll just knock them out. Jacob knocks them out faster than Evie. Evie, when I had to do that mission with like the police officers, she took a bit. Where would I find the doctor? Just witness the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Someone's throwing up. <laughs> Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Elitson. Unique kill opportunity, young doctor. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patients. Now hand over your keys. We'll trash opportunity, nurse. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. That's a bloody handprint. All right, assassinate John Elliotson. So we have an infiltration opportunity with the nurse and unique kill opportunity, young doctor. Uh, halt the electroconvulsive therapy session and How do not fire do a single bullet. All right, then it's just knives. Okay, so this key. Man, there's a lot of guards. Unlock, unlocks all the doors in the asylum. Okay. I think she's outside. I stand corrected. The master What's the matter? key. Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key, and there's no one around. I can't. Okay. Stole your key. Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, so I can kill them. I gotta find myself another job. Oh, I'm about to go on a killing spree. Who is she talking to? <laughs> hmm. 
tells her to bugger off, but she can't get out without a Now to get to the second floor, I gotta go out and come back the way I go back to the other entry point. Gotta run all the way around. Master key acquire. Some of them are level six. Where to? Where to? Where to? Where to? I think this is where the shock therapy is happening. Okay, that's done. Now there's a young doctor. Oh, he's down there. Now the question is, how do we get down there? <sighs> Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Two.
What will the people Stop. rely on now? Because uh, so he saw me. At last it ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. You're a child. A child who believes it can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? Confirm the kill. Well, considering the fact that I killed most of the guards, that should be easy. <laughs> yep, good to see you too, but I gotta get going. Uh, too bad we didn't get the unique kill opportunity. Oh, what's going on? Elliot's an expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank He's you simply for that. content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist! Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. And up from the harbor to a factory. Where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin. You disrespect the very city that works day and night, so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. Sorry to interrupt, Initiate. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otzelberg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Thank God you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. 
The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. Alright, well, we got to see Sean and Rebecca again. Sequence 5. Perils of business. John Elliotson is dead and Stark's soothing syrup has been er eradicated. Having shut down one branch of Stark's enterprise, Jacob looks to loosen the Master Templar's hold on London's transportation. Meanwhile, the race for the Shroud of Eden continues and Evie hopes to gain the upper hand over her enemy, Lucy Thorne. Owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starek has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starek's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument 